Hello, global traders. What we are going to do in today's video is talk about the object tree and the data window. That's right, we're going to cover the object tree and data window. For all of you new traders out there, the object tree and data window is off on the right hand column of your chart. You can see here it says object tree and data window. We're going to click. It opens just like that. You can see it's highlighted blue. This means we've selected it. And take a look here at what the object tree is. You can see we have it selected, the data windows here. So you can seamlessly go between the two options. Let us for a second zoom out on our chart so you can really see what's going on because when we have the object tree open, the reason why this tool is so powerful is that you can see all of your drawings and objects right here in an easy to use window. This means if you're like me in this instance and you have lots of, lots of text on your chart, or lots of lines or rectangles for different zones you're watching. Perhaps you may even have a long or short position tool placed on the chart. Maybe because you're thinking of entering here and you sort of have this trade set up on the chart. So you kind of have your stop loss mapped out, your take profit. And we're also just gonna make this um, a little more compact so that it it looks easier for you all to see. Now, nevertheless, what you'll notice is that long position tool that we just added is now also in the object tree. So ideally, by now, just a few minutes into the video, you're understanding what the object tree is. You can group everything on your chart. And when you add new objects to the chart, they will appear right here. So what's another object we could add? Why don't we add an arrow just at this uh, bottom marker that we have here, just as a reminder, that's sort of the absolute bottom that we most recently observed. And what you'll see is there's an arrow marker now right here in the object tree. Now, here's where you also want to pay close attention to the object tree. It's that you essentially can also select your drawings from the object tree. And you can see on the chart, they will instantly become highlighted. So for example, let's say you do have tons of drawings on the chart. You want to find a specific arrow marker. You can click it right here and you also have some buttons that are just you know literally a click away you can hide it lock it or unlock it in place or remove it entirely if you select it now well you have your floating window here to make some adjustments let's change the color just like that so the object tree is essential for finding all of the objects and text and anything else that's being added to your chart right here now, a few other really important things you're going to want to observe here is we even have folders in our object tree. So how cool is that? You can organize your objects on your chart with these folders. So we actually have something called the emoji group that we created. We've got a few emojis hidden here. Why don't we unhide them? Oh, we got one up here at the all time high. Unhide this one. We got another one up here at the all time high. This should probably be on this side just to showcase the double top action that was observed. So maybe we like to use emojis to remind ourselves of these double tops. In fact, we're even gonna go ahead and take our brush and just highlight this, this double top so it can't be missed. And two brushes have been added to the object tree. Well, let's organize this object tree now. We'll collapse these folders and we're gonna organize it so we can show you how folders work. So we have a long position tool here. Let's go up here and create a group of drawings, long position tool. So let's rename this and let's call this trading drawings. And now we've got the long position tool there. So now we have the long position tool in our trading drawings folder. You may notice since we started this video, we've added a few objects such as text. Well, we have a group text folder here. So let's go ahead and drag this text into the group text folder. Oops, let's click off for a second. There we go drag it into group text. We've got some more text here. Let's drag it into group text. We've also added this arrow marker. For now, let's add this to our folder called technical analysis drawings. So we click and hold and drag. You just saw us draw these two brushes here at the double top. Why don't we put this into the trading drawings folder because it's a double top reminder. So as you can see here, we've really reorganized our, in fact, let's move these technical tools to the bottom to really um, organize this perfectly. You may notice we have an anchored VWAP tool we've added. Well, we can unhide that in a flash. It'll recalculate. Let's rehide that for now because it's going to make the chart a little too noisy in this example. But ideally, you're starting to see all of the different things that you can do with the object tree. Now, here's what's really cool about these folders. 
When you have a folder created, so we have trading drawings, and you select the folder, it selects every object on the chart. So you can make bulk adjustments as needed. How cool is that? If you have tons of drawings, and maybe they have similar purposes, rather than clicking each one, so we click and change the color to blue, and then we click this one and change the color to blue, your other option is, is you master the object tree. You create folders. You click a folder of your choice. Now you've got your floating toolbar here to make bulk changes. Why don't we go ahead and make this uh, purple? Now you'll see the circles up here are purple. Or why don't we make all of these selections orange? Now you'll see the circles are orange. So you can see the advantage of creating these groups. And we also demonstrated just how easy it is to create groups, which is using this button up here that says create group of drawings. Now another really impactful thing here is being able to rename everything in the object tree. Now why is this important? Well, we have brush and brush brush and brush. But if we have tons of drawings, how will we know exactly which brush, brush is for which purpose? Well, we right click. There's a rename here. Let's do double, double top circle number one. And then of course, this is going to be rename double top circle number two. You can see we called this double tip. It should be double top. We click rename and we can literally fix the spelling correction just like that. So look how helpful this is now. Double top circle number one, selected. Double top circle number two, selected. So that is one of the more useful ways you can take advantage of the object tree as well. And actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna click through all of these groups. So this is actually technically, by the way, a double top in technical analysis is when there are two highs like this and at both points the price sold off it's a topping pattern, so there was some sort of resistance up here. And now for future use cases, if price goes back up here, you potentially know it's important. So this emoji, for example, you can even rename this. We're gonna go ahead and rename double top emoji number one. Now we know exactly what emoji this is, double top emoji number one. Well, we already have the circle here, so let's hide this. We don't need this anymore. This is gonna be double top emoji number two, double top emoji number two, and we've already got the circle, so let's go ahead and hide this. And then of course we have our cowboy emoji. This is, we're gonna call this cowboy emoji, catching the bottom emoji. And the reason why we're titling it that is, let's just say in this example, we've been charting Apple. All of these drawings have been on our chart for months now, and maybe we did catch the bottom. And this sort of cowboy emoji here is a fun reminder to us of saying, nice job. We're now just gonna collapse that folder. We have some group text here. We can do the same thing that we've been demonstrating to you by renaming all of these, but we wanna make sure that there are a few other really important things that you are observing from this specific demonstration, which is not only creating folders, not only being able to see all of the drawings right here in front of you, but also that if you right click on the objects that you've added to your charts, there are tons of customizations for you to access and unlock. So naturally, if you were to click this text here at the bottom, so we click this and then right click, we do get similar options or into the settings menu, but by using the object tree, it gives you another way to organize, find, and then customize everything that you're adding to your chart. So for example, if you really do have too much on your chart, or maybe there's some text all the way back here in 2021 that you didn't know about. In fact, why don't we add a path tool here just to illustrate this short, sort of zigzaggy motion. So you can see here, just whoopsies, we'll fix this and we'll make this like so, great. So now we've got this path here and let's change the color and the line thickness and the opacity, let's make it full. So in that example, let's say we're zoomed in and you, you know you have these drawings on your chart but don't know exactly where they are. When you open the object tree, there's path. Now you know this object is on your chart somewhere. Where could it be? We zoom out, there it is back in 2021. So the object tree is also a very powerful tool for always knowing where all your objects are, especially if you've lost some or can't find them because you have so many or because they go back in time. You may notice that as you add technical indicators, they also appear here. 
and you can double click them to instantly get to the settings of your choice as well. So you can see why if you are making bulk changes to your chart or need to move especially fast, mastering the object tree is going to be one important tool to have in your arsenal of trading and investing mechanics. Now we have talked about the data window as well. It's right here. The data window is especially helpful for seeing key stats that are happening on the chart. And if you're using indicators, the data window is essentially priceless. So if we go here and add total revenue quarterly, well, now we've got this revenue chart and check it out. It appears in the data window. So the data window becomes a super important tool for you to always be able to access and understand where all your data is happening. So we double click to open the total revenue window. If we double click the chart above, the total window, the total revenue window disappears. But because of the data window, we also know that this number is on our chart, which can be accessed with a double click. We know it's here. We can customize the style, all that good stuff. And in addition, if we wanted to, for example, add Bollinger Bands, so another, this time a technical indicator, you can see here Bollinger Bands appears in the data window. Now, this is where the data window really does become a visual experience for investors and traders to understand everything else that's going on their chart. If the object tree in this example is a way for you to see all of the objects on your chart, the drawings, the text, the emojis, anything like that, then the data window becomes your home base for knowing the data of the specific indicators or symbol that you're looking at. So by clicking between the two of them, you now have this seamless experience to know all of the fine objects on your chart that you're adding and analyzing, as well as the data behind the symbol that you're charting. So make this object tree and data window your best friend because of the ability to organize your chart and track specific data. Now we aren't even done yet. There is more for us to show you because this tool really does become impactful in many more ways, which is when you open up the object tree and for example, we click an emoji here, catching the bottom emoji. It's important that you understand you can also quickly clone and copy specific drawings. Actually, you know what? Better than showing you this with an emoji, we should use our technical analysis drawings. And by the way, we're gonna hide Bollinger Bands. And we're also going to hide, we're gonna hide the uh, long position tool here. Let's, so now that's hidden. And let's really just have you focus in on one tool right now, just one tool, and that is this rectangle tool. Say that we drew this rectangle tool as a zone that we wanna watch for support. We think that, that this area has some level of support that's worth watching. In fact, we're even gonna write, support to watch. This is just a note to ourselves. Well, if we wanted to copy and paste this or clone this quickly, you have the ability to clone or copy with this icon here. So if we click clone, check it out. You've just made that exact same drawing in a matter of clicks. Now you can drag it to wherever you need. So if you sort of have a repeatable process, you can use this clone tool to help you make these objects really in lightning speed. And actually we're going to, as we've been showing you, rename these so that you, this is gonna be called resistance to watch rectangle, okay? And this one is going to be called support to watch, support to watch rectangle. So support, so we actually need to change the text here. This is gonna be resistance. And what we're really doing now is just walking you through step-by-step processes. Everyone has their different methodology of trading or investing, but this tutorial video is really going to unlock what the object tree is good for, how to use it, and one of the best ways to learn is to dive right in because we're going to get a little more advanced now, which is manage layout drawings. So what's really fantastic about this tool is you can sync all of these drawings across different charts of your choice. Now, we have a video in our YouTube channel that walks through this. And it is a little more advanced for the average trader investor. So we have an entirely separate video about your drawings and syncing them to different charts. And for those of you who have, for example, multi-chart layouts, you're probably very familiar with this concept of syncing drawings. 
Keep in mind that you can sync drawings here with this global icon. You, you click this arrow here and you can have new drawings that will sync in a specific layout or new drawings that will sync globally. And this is your way of making sure, for example, if we were to draw something, let's just get the brush because that's one of the best tools. If we draw this circle here and now we move this chart in our layout, there's the circle. So what we're doing is we're syncing our drawings in our multi-chart layout. And there are more options such as syncing globally, which we walk through in another video. So be sure to watch that video. But taking us back to this object tree, this is where you can really start to build an advanced process for yourself. In fact, you see the link icon here, which means that these brushes are not only appearing in our object tree and reminding us that they are on our main chart here. See them here? These are the three brushes that we just did. We just demonstrated that. But take a look at the link icon here, and it's not here on this text. So that makes us remember that these specific drawings are linked to charts in our layout or are linked globally. So that is another important topic for you to dive into and to understand. We're actually going to hide these brushes for now. And we will, in fact, uh, you know what? Let's even make a folder here. And this is just to really make sure you see what's possible. And let's call this folder Synced Drawing Objects. So now we can make a custom folder of synced drawing objects. Let's collapse this. So how great is that? We now have everything here organized thanks to our object tree. We've walked you through why it matters, how it works. We showed you how you can use it in combination with the data window. Of course, it all starts with opening the object tree and data window here up to the right. And then we ended on a slightly more advanced topic, and that is about syncing your drawings across different layouts and still being able to track them in your object tree. Thus, your object tree truly is your home base for all of the objects that you're adding to your chart so that no matter how advanced your chart is, no matter how messy it gets, no matter how perfect it is, no matter how confused you are at a certain time because maybe you've just simply added too much data to your chart, your object tree is one click away to making that chart that you've worked so hard on a little more manageable and giving you the tools that you need to simplify and to make everything a little bit easier for yourself. So in that case, that wraps up our video. Go give the object tree a try to get started and be sure that you ask us any questions or comments below so that we may answer those questions or comments or especially build new tools for you. We try to read every comment and question that you post. Thanks so much for watching.